Hey, welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking all about how to minimize anxiety in the morning. We can have anxiety all the time, but sometimes anxiety can be very, very extreme in the morning when you wake up, your eyes are open and you have all these thoughts, sometimes negative, maybe mostly negative thoughts in the morning. And it just puts you in this space that sometimes just takes you out the game or makes it difficult for you to get in the game. Now, after that long intro, if you want to hear all about some ways that you can minimize anxiety in the morning, then keep on watching. Now, before we get started talking about anxiety and minimizing it in the morning, if this is your first time finding this channel, then I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button here where I make mental health and self-help tips to help you create your best and hopefully healthiest lifestyle. So today we're going to talk about minimizing that anxiety in the morning. Let's get into it. So if you're wondering what is anxiety, you're just used to people saying worrying. Well, anxiety and worrying go very much hand in hand. Anxiety is the obsessive or uncontrollable fear or worrying about everyday situations that prevent you from functioning in different social settings. So if we take the uncontrollable fear and we put that together with waking up in the morning and that's immediately what you feel, that can be very just discouraging. I know what happens to me. It, it can be just like, I'm just going to lay here. I don't know what to do. I'm feeling very anxious. I don't know how I'm going to just get through the day. I may be dreading something. Let me know down in the comments below if you've ever had those thoughts when you wake up in the morning and it's just taking you out the game completely. <clears throat> I digress. So if you're struggling with anxiety in the morning, then let's talk about some ways to help you out with that. So the first one starts off before you even wake up in the morning. If you're like, what is that? You go to sleep. What you do in your bed, which is right behind me. That is a essential part of managing your stress in the morning. You want to be able to get a good sleep that allows you to be very prepared, emotionally calm when you wake up in the morning. Do not watch Netflix in your bed. Know that it feels so good just laying in bed watching a movie, but allow your bed to be the place where you just sleep. Now, also, you want to keep a routine. If you can't keep a routine, at least try to go to bed in the window of the same time every night so your body is ready to wind down. It's like I'm going into this nice restful state. Those things can be really, really helpful. Also, take away that phone. I have also did a video on detoxing from social media. Don't keep your phone. I mean, Apple now has a little timer where your phone can go into night mode, just the different lights. I'm not sure how all that works, but you know what I'm talking about. Just having that different light. I think it's blue light. Y'all let me know down in the comments. But yes, those different lights can really prevent you from getting good sleep. And when you actually are ready to go to sleep, it's a struggle. So make sure your bed is for sleep. Try to prevent doing activities in your bed, such as watching TV or playing on your phone. And also try to keep a consistent time. Number two is your morning. Look at your morning. What are you doing in the morning? What are some stressors? What are some triggers? For myself, when that alarm goes off, my thoughts start firing off. It's sometimes negative, sometimes it's positive. So for myself, I try not to wake up to a just obnoxiously loud alarm. And that may work for you. I try to wake up to music so that I'm like, Oh, I like that song. It just puts me into like a space where I'm just like thinking about what I need to do. And it's a good transition from sleep for me waking up. Are you the alarm I work? For me, it does not. And that is okay. So I definitely encourage you to look at the stressors in the morning of how you're waking up to see if you can change that up for yourself. I know that there's also one where it like escalates. No, that's not the word I'm looking for, where it gradually increases its sound so that it can slowly bring you out of your sleep. And so if you need the alarm because you're like, music not going to work for me, try that option as well. So after you've woken up and you've gradually woken up to this peaceful place, now you're like, okay, I need to get ready for my day. Now, if you only give yourself 10 minutes, knowing you need about an hour, how that's going to do what you worrying and stressing out? No bueno. It's important to give yourself a lot of time, just some time where you can take deep breaths, where you can calm down, where you can catch your thoughts as they're coming, where you can brush your teeth, wash your face, eat breakfast, and you're not just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, because then you have that sense of feeling and that urgency that you're going to forget something or that you're not going to have enough time. That's not good for your anxiety at all. So we've talked about the evening, we've talked about the morning, 
And in the morning, we talked about giving yourself enough time to do things. And that's where relaxation activities can. Now, I'm not only saying that they can be done in the morning at home. I've done relaxation exercises in the car, at work, with other clients. So you could do relaxation exercises at any point in time. But if your morning is particularly stressful, then it's a good time to insert it where you just, before you even get out the bed, you do some deep breathing. I did a six minute routine for those who are short on time where you're able to do some mindfulness, some prayer, some journaling, all in the matter of six minutes before you get out the bed and get your day started. So if you're short on time, check out that routine as well. I'll be having some others. But before you get out the bed, try to take a deep breath. Try to relax yourself. If you're panicking about what to wear, take a deep breath, relax yourself. Also, if you're in the bed, you can play some guided imagery. I also have a video on mental health apps that I'll also link down below as well. But find a way to insert time for yourself, for you to calm your mind down. If you can't do it yourself, that's why guided imagery can be really great because they walk you through it. So try some of those activities. And lastly is to look at those thoughts. Yes, overthinking and anxiety in the morning is with the thoughts. I absolutely love CBT, which is cognitive behavioral therapy. And it looks at your thoughts, your feelings, and your behaviors. And so if your thought is, I'm gonna be late, your feeling is gonna be stressed, and your behavior, maybe you panicking, you're sweating, maybe you just get stuck and don't do anything. So we're going to swing on back to where it all started and we're going to look at those thoughts. I want you to think positively. Think about affirmations. This was also in my six minute routine. Tell yourself that you're beautiful in the mirror while you're brushing your teeth. Tell yourself that you look great while you're getting dressed and tell yourself that you have enough time or that everything's going to work out when you find yourself getting negative or stressing, your thoughts are powerful people. They are absolutely the gateway into your feelings and your behaviors. So I want you to know that, know that. <laughs> so your thoughts are super important. So if you're having the thought of that I'm tired, I don't know how I'm gonna get all this done, it's gonna be dragging, it's gonna be difficult. And so we wanna change those thoughts to say that, you know what, I've been there before, I know I can push through, or I'm gonna reward myself after I complete this task. You see how that shifts differently and how you're a little bit more motivated and a little bit more ready for the day. So that was four tips for you guys who are struggling with anxiety in the morning. I practice these all the time because anxiety is normal. A lot of people struggle with it. Some people at different levels, but it is a normal emotion. So if you're worrying, definitely think about looking at your sleep. Look how you're starting your morning off. Look at how much time you're giving. Insert some relaxation exercises. And most importantly, look at those thoughts and change them toward the positive. If you found this video helpful, then I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button before you get on out of here. Let me know down in the comments below some of the thoughts that you have in the morning and if you already implement some of these tasks. And if you don't, which ones will you actually start to try in the morning? As always, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.